Alright, so I found this incredibly gross coin on the street, probably covered with trillions of small bacteria and viruses. Now me, being the hypochondriac that I am, cannot allow this abhorrent, unpalatable object to continue existing in the same world as me. So I'm doing everything in my power to sterilize this coin into the world's most pristine coin. So first thing I did was run it under some soap and water just to get surface gunk off. This coin probably hasn't been bathed longer than most Redditors, so it was in dire need of this. The coin still seemed a little grimy, so I decided to leave it in rubbing alcohol overnight to see if anything living on it would get a DUI and then die. I then held up a parabolic microphone to the coin and heard the Who's and Whoville still singing happily. This is unacceptable, so I soaked the coin in my hydrogen peroxide for three hours. Now of course at this point the coin is probably sterilized, but I've never been known to stop while I was ahead, so I put the coin in my acetone and I had laying around. Also, quick side note, when removing acetone, you, you can't dump it down the sink. You have to dispose of it in a proper manner. For me, I just wrapped it up in this paper towel, just soaked that bad boy up like SpongeBob soaking up his tears after that guy rejected the pizza. And then... You throw it in the garbage, do a little trick shot, go all LeBron James with it. Just don't dump it down the sink. I then went online to see other incredibly stupid ways of making something sterile and found that lemon juice, baking soda, dish soap, and warm water would get the job done. Since I still had my baking soda out after, I'd figured I'd just mix my hydrogen peroxide with it and scrub again. I then read somewhere that dishwashers can get to be around 82.2 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you who hate the metric system. So I popped that bad boy in there for about six cycles just to be thorough. And then I boiled the coin in salty water for five minutes. Now it's at this juncture that we must start to get creative. Scrubbing the coin with hot liquid over and over isn't gonna get the job done. So anyway, I put it in more hot water, but this time it's gaseous. Oh god damn, did you see that save? That was glorious. And after that was done, I think I was finally done. I mean, I don't really have anything hotter than a steam cooker, right? So anyway, I lit the coin on fire to burn off any bacteria that were still on the coin. I then saw a YouTube video of someone using ultraviolet light to kill bacteria, but I don't have a UV light. So anyway, I pulled out my UV light and baked that bad boy for a solid two hours. Now, the next step is to make sure this coin won't give me ligma, so it's time to give it the old ozone treatment. But ain't nobody got an ozone generator just lying around around so anyway I got out my ozone generator and just put the coin in there for a while. There was still this kind of black impurity all over the coin so I decided to bleach it for a while and then scrub it with more baking soda and hot water. I then got out my electron beam irradiation device I saved for very specific circumstances and aimed that bad boy right at the coin just to ruin the day of anything that still dares to live on it. They then saw that on wikipedia.net.gov that electricity will kill most if not all bacteria present on a conductive surface. But ain't no Nobody have access to something that I can electrocute things with relative ease. So anyway, I got out my taser I bought from Amazon a year ago and just started flash frying this coin out of existence. I zapped it so many times it must have the speed force in its system. Now, this entire time I've been thinking about burning the impurities off, but I haven't considered freezing them off yet. So I got my spare bottle of liquid nitrogen and put the coin in there for a little bit. Now we must hit it with our finishing move. And I read in some news article that high amounts of radiation can be devastating to microorganisms, but I don't have have anything radioactive laying around. On an unrelated side note, I got out my brick of uranium-235 and left the coin next to it for 24 hours. Alright, I'm back, and it seems as though my hand has developed some form of rare epidermal disease, and also the coin is slightly more sterile. Finally, to make sure the coin never gets this bad again, I put it in this formaldehyde, the same stuff they use to keep dead people from decaying for years at a time. And here it sits, still the most sterile coin on planet Earth. I'd like to thank my family, I'd like to thank the Academy. Oh, and subscribe, I, I guess. Thank you.